chapter three has begun. Beyond the railways. Think about it. Got about another hour to go. See how far we can get into this chapter. What is that? Lettuce, bacon, soup, and toast? Interesting. Simply spectacular. I'm not sure if that's the word I would use. Just how many different types of food are there here? Like what? It's toast? Bacon and soup and leaves. This looks more than edible. All right. I believe this is what they call an imperial breakfast. That's right, Emma. It's a traditional Erebonian style of breakfast. I must apologize. It's taken me some time to familiarize myself with this kitchen, so my cooking has been a bit lackluster. Come now, Sharon. Your skill is something to be praised. This is far more colorful and varied than the breakfast served in my own home. Oh, there's an egg there too. I didn't didn't notice that. It's the same color as the plate. I would compare this spread favorably with the breakfast served in the Duke's household. <laughs> I'm honored that you think so. I've also brewed both tea and coffee if anyone would like some. Someone's upset. I get the feeling Elisa is less than impressed with the meal. It sounds like they had a big argument yesterday. Not a chance! I thought I'd finally, finally gotten away from her. I'm not going to let her have her way this time. All right. My lady, please. I truly don't believe the chairman sent me to keep an eye on you like that. She simply sent me so that her beloved daughter might have fewer inconveniences in her daily life. I can take perfectly good care of myself. Thank you very much. Oh, fine. I'll take this up with her myself then. Is she in the office at corporate today or is she out on inspection or something? I believe she'll be dining with the Ministry of Railways president in the capital today. After that, she'll be continuing her inspection tour, so she won't be back in Ruhr for another five days. Does she ever slow down? I'm surprised she doesn't burn through a pair of shoes a week. Anyway, I'm not going to take this lying down. She's stuck her nose into things one too many times. I can't believe that R actually stood for Elisa Reinford. And from the sound of it, her mother's the company chairman too. Yeah, I... Wasn't expecting that Elisa's mom is basically in charge of the continent's biggest industrial company. Her family's probably got more money than most of the aristocracy. I can see why she'd want to keep her family under wraps, what with all the nobles here. Anyway, I object to everything about this. Considering how busy Mother is, I'm sure she needs your assistance far more than I do. <laughs> I knew it. You're really concerned about her, aren't you? The way you two care so much for each other deep down is one of the reasons I'm so proud to serve you. And she's a incendiary for everybody. Th that's preposterous. Oh, my lady, I almost forgot to mention that I made plenty of your favorite apricot jam. Would you like me to spread some on your toast? Ooh, really? Okay, that, that was a quick turnaround. I mean, stop treating me like a child. Though, yes, I would like some jam. It's almost heartwarming to watch. <laughs> Looks like Sharon's got her number. Beginning the day with Sharon's peerless breakfast, the members of Class 7 left to go about their daily routine. You know what? Reen went to check the task the student council had given him for the day. All right. What do we got today? 
June, all right. Um, Secret Admirer, all right. Vincent, I'm in need of some aid. Some fair maiden has sent me several messages proclaiming her love for me. And who could blame her? I simply must know who she is. So would you be kind, would it some kind soul help me find her and bring her to me? All right, um, sure. I think I know who this guy is, the purple haired dude. Uh, we'll see about that goes. Kind of, kind of worried about that. Born to be horrible. Okay. Georgian Jorge and Angelica. We were testing the overall bike and capabilities on the highway near Trista. If you're curious, come talk to us in the engineering building. Okay. So we get to see the bike that can't turn. And then, yeah, old schoolhouse. This month, I would like the members of Class 7 to commit themselves to their noble academic pursuits. Though I know, studious as you are, you can expect that anyway. I can expect that anyway. So on top of that, I'd like you to continue your exploration of the old schoolhouse and report your findings to me. Alright. Hey, our, a request from Jorge and Angelica. It's about the orbital bike too. Wonder if they need my help with it. Looks like I'll have to swing by the engineering club before I go in. I head to the old school house. Alright. Well, this is the first sign I've seen in days, so might as well make the most of it. Alright, let's get... let's do this. Alright. So it's been raining for four days, apparently. Infrastructure is way better around here than it is um, where I live, at least. Currently. It only takes a day of... A few minutes of rain to be, there to be giant puddles like lakes. Hello. Take care while you're out, Master Reen. I shall be sure to prepare a tremendous feast for all of you while you're away. I was looking forward to it. By the way, is what happened this morning pretty indicative of how things usually are between you and Lisa? At a glance, it seems like you were arguing, but if you paid attention, you could tell that wasn't the case. Precisely. We have been together for quite a few, quite a while now. As such, it was a relief to see what she is very much the same as she always was. Sharon seems to know how to handle any sort of situation. I can see why she has no trouble dealing with Elisa, at least. Please come to me should you have any requests. I'll do everything I can to accommodate your wishes, especially since you're so close and <laughs> closer friend to Lady Elisa. Mm hmm I'll give that in mind. I was expecting the wink wink nudge nudge to her from her. But she's not making it that obvious. Anybody here? I guess I should do this. But anyway. Yeah, no, nobody's here. Alright, so let's first off, are there any books or side quests we need to take care of quickly. Nothing in here, at least. Alright. We got three bonding points to do. Okay. Um, probably a new book. So... Okay, yep. I don't think I have one of these. Don't have one of these. Don't have one of these. Or these. I do have one of these, though. Manly Munchies Sandwiches. Okay. Okay. Um. Events. Okay. I already read this, right? No, oh, I haven't. Or I have. Alright. I have used it. Um, I believe I've read this. Yes, I have read these. Okay, here's the new ones. Intermediate chess. So that's for me for Machias. This like, might be a bit too high level for me. I should ask Machias about this stuff. Alright, he's almost rank 1, rank 2. Um, okay, um, 
be just that, so... Teaching Primer. Okay, this is probably Emma. This seems pretty handy. Should talk about it with Emma sometimes. Yep. Don't know if you guys can hear the plane overhead. It's pretty loud right now. And then horse machine uses. Book has a lot of good information on riding. Horse riding, um, should go. I should talk about it with uses if I get the chance. Aw. Six away? It's really? Just six? And then. Can't read that, but okay. Any Rain Moon Rose stuff? Okay, I think that's all the books. Let's see. Oh, Fee's right there. And I can hang out with her if I wanted. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Um. You guys doing something? Okay, there's a house. Okay. Um. Someone's in the pawn shop. Bro. What are you doing here? Uh, how are you? How are you feeling about your first midterms? Well, I think I passed at least the very least. How about you? Sitting slightly above average, I think. Would have gone better if I could have gotten my hands on a list of test questions and advanced them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you could have done that, I totally could make things better. Except for, you know, could have been kicked out of the school. Damn. Should have seen if the old man Mitch was good for it. You know, I really doubt he'd have something like that for sale. Looking for Sarah? She's not going to be back till later. Oh, so you already know she went, wasn't interested? Er, nope. Really convincing there, Mitch. Alright, do you got anything neat here? Um... Ooh. I don't have enough to use these, but these seem neat. Like they're neat. Um, rest of these things. I got like 14 new material, and that's nice. That's neat. And then Chrono Drive. That would be pretty good to have. I think Fee is the only one with it right now. Anyway, let's see here. Is it this house? Um, okay, not this one, I guess. It's supposed to be a house that I get a recipe from. I'm not really sure which one it is, though. Um. But this is the like the only house, right? I guess we can do some fishing. Not bad. Ah, oh, new fish. Rank up. We're brown anchor. <laughs> Alright. I don't know how I feel about that name. Caught one. 
I'll have to talk to the fishing dude. I don't know where he is though. Probably on campus? Fishing. Okay. See if we can find the fishing dude later. For now, okay, I think there is another house over here. Yeah, this one. Okay, is it you? There we go. Also, I need to give the weird food that I have to people. Or should I wait? I'm not really sure. Wait until the end to give everything, maybe? I don't really like to do that, though. I like to just hand them out. Offer you new dishes. Okay, so it tells me which ones I've given. So it's fine to just do all this now. Oh! She gives items. Neat. And then... Oh! Cat? seems to be happy. Maybe I'll ring her next. Okay. I guess I keep doing that. I don't know. Not really. I don't remember what that does, but it does something probably. Okay. Um. Is he in here? I don't see him. Um. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I just got the berry tar. Um... Yeah, we'll wait until we can actually have people help with that. Um... Anything else? We got milk there. I guess there's no secret quests in this one. So we'll get start doing quests. Um, chapter 3. Do that later. We'll do this one. Which you are... Behind the storage building? Okay. Odd place to be. I think that's over here. Yep, there's a green mark. I'm scared. Excuse me, is your name Vincent by any chance? Indeed it is. Stand before you it is a nobleman overflowing with love and pathos. The one, the only, Vincent Florald. I assume you are the Cupid that asked this that I asked the student council to send to me. Okay. He's quite the character. Um, he really seems to like himself. But that's what I've grown to expect from Class 1. I'm no Cupid, but I am here to, on behalf of the Student Council. Yes. Haha. <laughs> then you must may still well serve my purposes. 
allow me to congratulate you on making your way here. Um, so based on your request and my nickname, new nickname, I assume you want me to find someone for you? Yes, something along those lines. Do you have some time to spare? If so, I shall begin explaining the peculiarities of my request. Sure. Please elaborate on your request. Huh, fair answer indeed. Although, before we continue... Oh, Serifa is currently nowhere to be seen. Serifa, I guess? Now that I think about it, this is kind of an unusual meeting place. Are you hoping to keep this request quiet? Not exactly. I was merely hoping to avoid things getting meddled in. My father and my father sent Serifa to the academy to keep an eye on me. As you can imagine, her watchfulness can occasionally be rather constraining. Hmm. Well, what is apart from the meat? Okay, that is apart from the meat of the matter. To be blunt, I have received not one, but two, not two, but three passionate letters of, of late, and all from a single writer. Curiously, however, the writer in question signs with not but a no, nom de plu. That I would request of you, may fi my fine fellow, is to find out just which lovely lady is res responsible for these. That's reasonable, but are you sure it's appropriate for me to try to find her? These are anonymous, after all. Do take a moment to think it over. The fact that she chose to use a pen name rather than remaining completely anonymous is proof of a pining, hopeful heart. In fact, I am absolutely certain that she wishes for me to find her. I suppose I'll just have to trust I'll have to trust your judgment on this. What's more, she sent cookies along with her third letter. I would hardly be worth worthy of the floral name if I did not prepare properly thank her for it. Would, would I? No. Doing his voice is kind of tongue tying me. Yes, I don't think I could stop you at this point if I tried. Do you have any additional information that would help me pinpoint exactly who we're looking for? I do indeed. The first hint is that she is a first year. As a man well versed in the feelings of beautiful women, I was able to deduce this from the respectful tone of her letter. Additionally, the fact that she that her attached that she attached a present grand rose at the end of each letter may serve as a hint as well. A grand rose. If I remember correctly, those are flowers you use when confessing your love for someone, right? Not quite. Which brings us to why this is a hint. The only way to obtain a grand rose in Trista is to purchase it from the town florist. So if we ask the florist who purchased one, precisely, we will be able to discover just which shy maiden has sent these letters to me. Would you take it take on this task for me, then? As long as you don't mind me sticking to the plan we just discussed. I don't see why not. I am truly indebted to you. Based on her pseudonym and her use of a grand rose, I can only imagine a lady. Our lady is a very model of grace. Okay. I think I know who this is, and I. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Now that you mention it, what was the name of name she used? Um. Oh. It seems I neglected to mention that very important detail. She calls herself the Grand Maiden. Alright, that's already a red, a red flag there. I don't know about you, but if someone's calling themselves Grand Maiden, I don't know if I want anything to do with them. A nickname taken from a d the daughter of a baron who married into the Imperial family long ago. Okay. <clears throat> I guess that has a different impl implication there. 
The Emperor at the time was so smitten with that her smitten that he gave her her countless number countless number of grand roses. And so the cane came the moniker, okay. I see. Can't say I've ever heard can't say I've heard that story before, but it is interesting. But this is no time to be standing around thinking about it. I'll head over to the floor, flower shop right away. Very well. I leave this matter in your clearly capable hands. I don't know how my hands became capable with this, but alright. Um, to the flower shop? Uh... Excuse me, would you mind if I asked you a question? Not at all. Go ahead. Rain explains the situation to Jane, and asks about the first year who had recently purchased any Grand Roses. Hmm. It wouldn't be hard to find out if I look, if I looked at my records, but I'm not exactly sure I should disclose that information. Understandably so. I don't intend to do anything that with this information that they don't want me to, though. If they ask me to keep their identity a secret, that's what I'll do. I see. Well, if that's the case, I guess I can help you out. No, that isn't legal. You shouldn't be giving the information out. Just remember, though, it's your job to give the mysterious sender your support and nothing more. I'll wish her the best of luck. Uh, this request getting pretty complicated at this point. Right. I count three first years who've made a Grand Rose purchase recently. In class order, first is Bailey. Barrel? Yeah, Barrel. From class three. I think that's the fortune te teller girl. Then there's Vivi from class four and Rosine. Rosen? Rosine? From class five? Vivi, uh, probably playing a prank somewhere. And Rosine, I don't know. I see. Thank you very much for your help. The fact that she mentioned Vivi has, has me worried. <laughs> Hope she's not trying the same trick on someone else right now. Not at all. Good luck. Alright. They're all students, so I'm assuming they're at the academy for some reason. Oh. You're... Oh. You're one of the people. Excuse me, you're... I, I, Rosine is how it's spelled, but probably not how it's supposed to be pronounced. We'll just say Rosine. From class 5, aren't you? That's correct. Why do you ask? I have a quick, kind of personal question for you. Rain explains the situation. Oh no, that certainly wasn't me. I did buy a Grand Rose, but it was for the purpose of decorating the church. Oh, I see. Sorry to ask such an embarrassing question, then. It's fine. Alright. Not the, um, nun. Who would have guessed it? Um... Next... Okay. Beryl, or whatever her name is, is probably still in the this area. Her fortune teller crystal orb thing. And it's over here. Yep, there you are. Um, you're Beryl from class three, right? <laughs> I certainly am. What do you want from me? Actually, there was something I wanted to ask you. Reen told Peril about his investigation, yep. Oh, do I seem like the kind of girl who'd be enticed by rom in romance? Or interested in romance? I needed to purchase a Grand Rose to use it in a ritual, that's all. I see. That answers my question, but now I'm wondering what that ritual she mentioned is all about. Well. That's all I wanted to ask. Sorry to disturb you. Uh huh. Some things. Sometimes it's good to be disturbed. 
Good day to you. Alright. We'll leave. Um... Now... Vivi. Where could she be? She, she goes around a bunch. If she's not in the art room, she could be anywhere. Let's check the art room first. Unless... Um, oh, it tells me on the map. That, make th that makes things easy. Hey y'all, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like what you saw, you can f um, watch me live on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash luminiferousquack. If you want to see these videos, of course you can see me on YouTube with Luminous Quack on YouTube. And you can see if you want to get notifications for when I my videos come out or when I stream on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitter or X on at Luminous Q. I hope that I hope to see you guys there. Have a good one. Please subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out. Bye-bye.